Alright, Lena Soft and the Skinny is the remake of an 80s classic, Do They Know It's Christmas? They assembled this Band Aid 30 to redo the song, this time with slightly different lyrics for the fight against Ebola in Africa. The star power was certainly there at the recording session, lots of familiar faces, but many of them weren't even born when the original song was made back in 1984. The new version is available on iTunes later today, but it just premiered on the X Factor in the UK. Even I don't hear the difference from the old one so far. Ed Sheeran, One Direction's uh, 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 One Direction, Cole plays Chris Martin, all on hand. But one of the biggest names, uh, who was also in that original 1984, Bono. Yeah, there he is. We got some unfortunate news about him, though. Word coming late last night that he injured his arm in a cycling accident in New York City Central Park. The band issued a statement saying Bono should make a full recovery, but he is going to need surgery. This comes just days after the rear hatch flew off of an airplane that he was on from Dublin to Berlin. So he's having a, a weird stretch yeah, of luck here. Not feeling very lucky. And we've got more unfortunate injury news. Dancing mm. with this star's favorite, Alfonso Ribeiro, might be sidelined with a debilitating back injury. Yeah, this is a problem here. He's a clear Ooh. front runner. And after he finally recovered, remember him <gasps> doing this? Everybody went crazy. Well, he injured himself doing that move, injured his groin. The groin's okay, but now he's got a back issue. Got five contestants left in this thing. Competition heating up. And apparently, this is a very serious injury. He was in a lot of pain over the weekend during rehearsals. Oh boy, his recent uh, Paso Doble scored a perfect 10, but he's going to have to get perfect 10s during his medical evaluation yeah. in order to compete tonight. And he's so much fun to watch. Yeah, we shall see. Well, Fat Foxcatcher opened this weekend, pulled in top box office honors among the uh, specialty films, if you will. The star of the movie, Steve Carell, is getting rave reviews for his performance. Peter Travers sat down with Carell and had some questions for him about this very different and serious role and what it takes for him to prepare. I just want to know the music that's in your head. I just want a snippet of what's going on in there. And the hate is gonna hate, 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 hate. And the play is gonna play, 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 baby. I'm gonna shake, 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 shake. Shake it off, shake it off. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> That's in everybody's <laughs> head these days. It's in all of our heads. Don't feel bad, Steve Carell. But yes, he loves Taylor Swift. We all love Taylor these days. You can't blame him. All right, now now that everyone's caught up on Shake It Off Fever, it might be easy to forget about Taylor's hit from a few years ago. The one with that definitive title, we are never getting back together. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was released. The uh, song was widely believed to be about her ex-boyfriend at the time. His name is Harry Styles. He is a member of One Direction. There, there he is on the right there, but there are new rumors now that Harry has shaken off that message and perhaps would like to get back together with Miss Taylor Swift. Well, according to a source in New Weekly magazine, Styles has been plaguing Taylor with text and is a congratulatory gesture has sent her 1,989 roses, a nod to her recent release, 1989. Mm, good luck, homie. Uh, we are time for our celebrity birthdays now. <laughs> Celebrating their big day is one of the most influential filmmakers in history, Martin Scorsese. He turned 72. Well, Danny DeVito turning 70 years old now. Speaking of the house, John Boehner turned 65. And Rachel McAdams, rumored to be part of season two of True Detective. She turns 36 years old. Happy birthday to everybody.